What's up guys welcome back to yet another interesting video. So today let's talk about the OnePlus Pad Go 2. A tablet that can handle your online classes, note taking, entertainment and even light productivity. In this video we'll talk about design, display, performance, AI features, camera and battery life. But before that guys if you find the content useful to you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing. First thing let me tell you guys price haven't officially been announced right now. At the time we are recording this video once the price is announced I'll pin it in the comment section below. First let's start with the design. OnePlus Pad Go 2 comes in shadow black and lavender drift color. It's just 6.83 mm thin and weighs under 600 grams. So it feels very comfortable to hold for long study sessions or Netflix bangs. The design is minimal, clean and very much in line with OnePlus premium look. This time they have moved the camera module towards the left hand side. On Go we had it in the center and we have a single frame on the entire back. And this is the first time OnePlus have introduced the 5G variant of OnePlus Pad Go 2 but that's only available in shadow black color. Lavender Drift is limited to Wi-Fi model only. In terms of display you get 12.1 inch 2.8K LCD display with an aspect ratio of 7 is to 5 and 88.5% screen to body ratio. It supports up to 120Hz refresh rate, 98% DCPI 3 color gamut and 900 nits of peak brightness. So even if you use outdoor you won't face much of difficulties reading the content. And audio is something which is really loud. You get quad speakers which delivers impressive and balanced sound for media and calls. Trust me the content watching experience is really great either you use it in landscape mode or even in portrait mode. In Netflix you also get the support of HDR10 which is something really good what OnePlus have been doing with OnePlus smartphones. Not all the brands do provide the support of HDR in Netflix. The device comes out of the box with Oxygen OS 16 based on Android 16 and currently we are not sure about how many years of OS upgrades will this device receive. That thing also I'll pin it in the comment section below. With Oxygen OS 16 you get all the features like open canvas for multitasking. You can use that simple gesture with two fingers to open apps in splits view. And you also get the OnePlus ecosystem support. So if you have OnePlus smartphones and if you are planning to buy OnePlus Pad, it will be a great choice. Because you get all the things like screen connect, communication sharing, app relay and even you can manage files across both the devices. You can also sync the notifications, even sync text copied to clipboard between your tablet and phone. You can also sync your content with PC and even iPhones. You just have to download and install the O-Connect application and you are good to go. And OnePlus have also bought this OnePlus Pad Go to Stylo which is sold separately. It supports advanced handwriting calculator including powers, logarithms and trigonometry functions. So if you do any kind of calculation it can be really helpful. You also get the AI features like AI Writer but guys AI Writer is not working currently due to some issues ongoing but with the upcoming updates that will be fixed. You also get things like AI Recorder, AI Editor tool is included, Google's Gemini with to search is also supported. We also have a dedicated editor in the gallery application which lets you edit your videos and you can export the videos max up to 4k 30 fps. For the photos you have all the AI features like AI recompose, AI eraser, AI portrait glow, AI perfect shot, AI detail boost, AI unblur and AI reflection eraser. So here OnePlus haven't done any kind of compromises when it comes to AI features. Though one compromise you'll see that Mindspace is not available on OnePlus Pad Go 2. I'm not sure whether it will be added in future but currently this feature doesn't come on your OnePlus Pad Go 2. Now talking about the performance part so this device comes with MediaTek Dimensity 7300 Ultra processor supporting 8GB RAM and up to 256GB of storage. In benchmarks we do get decent scores like Wildlife Extreme Test Test we got step of 99.5%. In Geekbench Mark single core scored 1057 and multi core scored 3109. In Android to Benchmark application the scores were 7,15,938. And we also performed CPU throttling test in which maximum CPU throttle 93% and the average gifts were 3,42,000. But guys remember one thing this device is not meant for gaming. If you are the one who play games like BGMI I will never recommend you guys because I don't know in the graphic it do shows support of 90 FPS but we are only getting 30 FPS. And the gameplay is also not that smooth. You can do casual gaming plus we also don't have the support of gyroscope in this. So if you're the one who wants to play BGMI and other competitive games I will never recommend this. You also don't get to see gaming dashboard and even apps like Compass because this device doesn't have the support of gyroscope. If you take a look at the sensors we have accelerometer, light, proximity is not there, magnometer is also not there and even sensors like Compass, gyroscope are also not available. We get two cameras 8MP for the front and 8MP for the back. See it's not not a camera centric device or performance centric device so 8MP is good for video calls or you know document scanning. Connectivity wise you get Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.4 and 5G support as I mentioned in the shadow black only. Now talking about battery and charging so here OnePlus Pad Go 2 really impresses. 
you get a 10500 mAh battery supporting 33 watt of fast charging but charging do takes time in our testing we noticed it took around 1 hour 55 minutes to completely charge from 8% to 100% but battery can easily last entire day if you're watching content with those huge speakers i never felt battery drain is an issue on oneplus pad go 2 though we cannot check out the screen on time i did try out third party applications like acu battery but still they are not reliable if i generally consider i've been getting around 12 to 13 hours of screen on time while watching content or you know taking notes in terms of security you only have the support of face unlock there's no fingerprint sensor present on oneplus pad go 2 so guys this was all about oneplus pad go 2 it's a really good product for students online learners content consumers and light productivity users pricing and the software support details will be pinned in the comment section once i get the info about it but what do you guys have to say about oneplus pad go 2 share your thoughts in the comment section this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video